Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Santa Monica College, I welcome all of you to this year's commencement ceremony, an event of great pride and celebration. Please be seated if you've not been seated, if you've not said this is, if you've not already done so. <laughs> it's a long time to stand, I understand. But um, we wanted to wait until every graduate had entered the stadium and was seated. I want to extend a special welcome to the parents, loved ones, and friends of the graduating class of 2019. And I also want to welcome And I also want to welcome the worldwide audience watching today's ceremony on our live webcast. I am Dr. Katherine Jeffrey, Superintendent President of Santa Monica College, the number one community college. Today is a very special occasion, and it is extra special because you are among the largest graduating class in Santa Monica College's history with 5,905 students who are receiving five thousand. 905 students who are receiving 9,110 degrees and certificates. <laughs> Among this group, also, you will find 24 students who will receive a Bachelor of Science degree in Interaction Design. This is our second class in IXD in the history of Santa Monica College to achieve this accomplishment. They've been through a rigorous program that has trained them in user experience, design, and technology. I have a few words to offer to the graduates. I want to say to you that please let the memory of today's accomplishment stay with you as you go forward in life. As you set new academic goals or seek a new job, that you might think is unattainable. Just stay focused on the end result desired. Before you know it, you'll be walking away with that signed contract for the dream job, or you will have earned an advanced higher education degree, a, a bachelor's, a master's, a doctorate, or you will have been promoted to some new position that you thought was out of reach. Keep your eyes on the prize and silence the noise and the doubt that attempts to immobilize you. Today, you have reached your destination by navigating around everything that may have stood in your way. I hope that you have felt supported and comfortable here at SMC because in this environment, we want you to feel welcomed, nurtured, and safe. And feeling safe is really important, but beyond that, we hope we've made you feel brave, and that's what really matters. Brave enough to take on that next challenge or opportunity, to dream a new impossible dream. Because as Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, it always seems impossible, whatever it is, until it's done. Today is proof that you have the tenacity to reach your goals, the fight is never about grapes or lettuce as Cesar Chavez said, the fight, the reason, the motivation that takes you forward is about the people, you, the people you love, the people you care about. So with an eye on the people 
who make up the family of SMC. These beautiful flags we have on the field are something towards which I would like to draw your attention. This display showcases how we treasure and how we value the global and diverse culture, the diverse cultures represented by the students and the faculty and staff and administrators who make up Santa Monica College. These flags represent 101 nations, all the countries of the students who are attending SMC right now. And I would like to call your attention to one flag in particular to my right the flag of the United States of America. And I'd, like to, and I'd like to invite our outgoing student trustee, Alexandra Boyd, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which we stand, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Please be seated. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the individual trustees of the board of Santa Monica College, Santa Monica Community College District. Please hold your applause until all of the trustees have been introduced. And will the trustees please remain standing until all of your names have been read. The chair of the board, the Honorable Dr. Margaret Quinones Perez. The vice chair of the board, the Honorable Dr. Nancy Greenstein. The Honorable Dr. Louise Jaffe. The Honorable Mr. Rob Rader. The Honorable Barry Snell. I would also like to name two trustees who could not be here today with us, the Honorable Dr. Susan Amanoff and the Honorable Dr. Shai Roy. So let's give them all an a round of applause. And while the trustees remain standing, I'd also like to ask our student trustee, Alexandra Boyd, to stand. She is the outgoing student trustee. And I'd like to also acknowledge our incoming tr student trustee, the Honorable Brooke Harrington. And Brooke is out there in the audience somewhere. So I just want to acknowledge Brooke. Please be seated. Chair Quinones Perez, would you please offer remarks on behalf of the board? This is the biggest crowd I've ever had to talk to in my life. And it's scary. Good evening, buenas noches a todas las familias que están aquí. <laughs> On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I'd like to welcome you and to tell you how proud we are of all of your children. I know they're, they're students, they're adults, but they're our children and your children. And we wanna thank you for entrusting them to us. So I thought tonight, um, I don't do good with written speeches. Um, by my training, for 35 years I've been a therapist. So I talk to people straight from the heart and what I believe, so that's what I'm gonna do for tonight, is to speak straight to you. Tonight, my brief moments is gonna be talking about a circle, just like this, a circle. And before I get to the circle, I wanna tell you what Santa Monica College did for a woman in 1973. There was a woman that came here in 1973 that went through special education through LAUSD, was in special education, they put her on a bus, they put her in the uh, special ed classes all the way through high school. She never had an IEP. 
She never had an evaluation. So she was in the classroom with the mentally disabled, the learning disabled, the blind, uh, the deaf. Everybody that had special needs, we were all put together. And so when they told this woman, are you going to go to college, she really didn't know what it was because none of her family had even graduated middle school. So I remember she ran here to Santa Monica College and literally hid. And there was a dean here, Dean Acevedo. I know some of you here will remember Dean Acevedo. And he took her and showed her how to register for classes. And she was hoping to dear God that nobody knew she had been in special ed all the way through 12th grade. Well, she graduated from SMC. She got into Cal State Dominguez Hills. Wasn't sure how she got in there either. Graduated Cal State Dominguez Hills that went on to USC, got a master's there, and then went and raised her children alone for 26 years, put them both through college, and both of them are graduates here of Santa Monica College. And then she decided, okay, the kids have finished high school, now it's my turn. So she went on and got a doctorate at UCLA. And then she decided, well, you know, people make a big deal about these Ivy League schools, Yale, Harvard, Princeton. Are they really that hard to get into? So she went and she applied into a fellows program and they let her in. So I don't know how she did all that, but she did it because there were people behind her that we'll call the circle. And in that circle, she had a mentor. And some of you may know who the mentor is. Her name is Lillian Roy Ball Rose. She's the daughter of Congressman Roy Ball. And Congressman Roy Ball was the first Mexican American council member and the first congressman. And he went through little, a lot of, there's no other word for it, hell to carry leadership for a lot of people. And in that time that she was a mentee during, with Dr. Roy, with Lillian, Lillian taught her about a circle. And she said, the girl's name is Margaret, just so you'll know who her name is, Margaret. My name is Margaret, so you, it might be me. Uh, so she said to her, thank you, thank you. It was me. So, <laughs> It was me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Lillian taught me a circle, and she says, Margaret, I want you to think of all the difficult moments that you have been through. I want you to remember all the struggles, but I also want you to remember that there are people in your life who may be your family or may not be your family, but they're going to believe in your greatness even when you forget it. So when you go off and you're happy, Margaret, or when you go off and you're not in a good space, remember that I carry your circle, your circle of greatness. So when you come to me and you tell me, you can say anything to Margaret, to me, Margaret, anything, the most ugliest thing, the most precious thing, and I will never get confused about your greatness. And so I'm offering you that every one of these faculty that sit here and all of those parents and family and friends out there carry your circle or you wouldn't be here today. And I want you to remember when those moments come, you don't have to tell everybody. You're feeling down or feeling anxious. Remember that inside of you, you carry a circle. But remember one thing about the circle. The circle tells you the truth, not what you want to hear. So congratulations, and good luck, and I carry your circle. Thank you, Chair Quinones Perez. Graduates, as I mentioned earlier, this ceremony is being webcast live on our website and on Facebook Live. That's right, any of your families 
Family members or friends who can't be with us here today can see what's happening right now in real time. And last year we had over 5,000 family members and friends from around the world live stream our commencement program. So we're hoping for an even greater number this year. So if you're on your cell phones, and I know you are, <laughs> tell your friends and family, tell them that they can watch you receive your diploma in real time tonight by going to SMC website, smc.edu, smc.edu. So students, upon graduating, you will all become alumni and you will all move on to new exciting chapters in your life and we at SMC want to be part of your next journey and as Dr. Quinones Perez said, there are many of us here who are eager and enthusiastic about being part of your circle. So the best way for you to keep in touch with us and for us to keep in touch with you is through the SMC Alumni Association. After graduation, you will, you will be able to see the SMC graduation website, a time lapse of today's entire ceremony, and a mashup of the graduates who pose in front of our media wall. And that's smc.edu slash forward slash graduation. So you'll be able to, to look back and see all of uh, the excitement after the ceremony. So now I'd like to acknowledge those who have mentored, taught your classes, counseled and guided you. Will the faculty and staff of Santa Monica College please stand up? These are individuals whose commitment and care you have relied upon, and these individuals have played a role in your success. Thank you, faculty and staff and administrators. Thank you all for what you do, to our, do for our students each and every day. Now, students, I'd like for you to stand and look up into the bleachers and find those enthusiastic and caring faces of your family members. Through your enthusiasm, you're showing them how much they mean to you and expressing your thanks for their support, sacrifice, and encouragement. Thank you. Please be seated. So next, I'd like to introduce the remaining members of the platform party and our special guests. I'd like to ask you to please hold your applause until all individuals have been introduced. Teresita Rodriguez, Vice President for Enrollment Development, our commencement speaker, I, and this is a, a, a point of privilege um, I take as the president of the college. I would like for you to clap to acknowledge, to say thank you to our honored guest, the Honorable Alex Padilla, California Secretary of State.
He will be further introduced later in the program. Dr. Nate Donahue, President of the Academic Senate. Ms. Maya Thompson, a student who will deliver the student challenge. Also, I'd like to acknowledge members of the SMC Foundation in our audience, other donors and supporters, and the many, many employees and volunteers who worked for many months to prepare for tonight's ceremony. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. The faculty challenge will be presented by the president of the Santa Monica College Academic Senate, Dr. Nate Donahue. Good evening, graduates, loved ones, family, and friends. Tonight, I have the honor of representing the faculty of SMC and being the person to congratulate you on all of the love, the hard work, and passion that has resulted in the completion of your goal and the achievement of a dream. We are all so proud of you, and we are hopeful for the future because we know that you will be shaping and leading us there. We have worked together on this campus, our home, to train and lead you to lead this country and the world out there, to be good and just leaders of government, cultural organizations, businesses, institutions of health and education, and of course, your own families. We want you to take what you've learned here and to promote equity and social justice wherever you go, to support your communities and those who are the most resilient and marginalized among us to serve others as you build security and happiness for yourselves and those you love. I am charged tonight, after all of the challenges your faculty have set before you over your time here, to give you one more challenge to ponder on your way out towards the future. So here it is. As you graduate this institution and assume positions of leadership in your places of employment, transfer, local communities, and families, remember this. Instead of merely reacting to the challenges you experience in life, choose to respond. Respond to these challenges with love and compassion. What do I mean by this? What is the difference between a reaction and a response? Our society has become geared towards soliciting immediate reactions to stimulus, both positive and negative. The very recent advent of social media has conditioned us to make quick and reflexive emotional choices, to like or not like a photo or political aphorism, to become outraged at a cheap provocation which pops up on our newsfeed. Our entire political system nationally, has been infected by this bullying and reactive quality that is strategically formed to stifle us, to exhaust us, to make us feel rage on the margins of our identities until we give up. And you know what? It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to be scared, saddened, or shocked. But your faculty challenge you to use those emotions as a site of resistance and to carefully build communities and alliances in solidarity against oppression, to craft creative, joyful, and effective responses in the face of a system of power which may not always see you and those you love in the entirety of your humanity. Indeed, reactions are quick and reflexive. They do not often allow time for the reflection that strategic collaborations and creative and considered responses can provide. When we merely react, we are often alone with our feelings. 
Whereas a response that is in community and with allies provides us an opportunity to include many voices in a concert of joy. By carefully responding to challenges rather than merely react, we are able to breathe, to think, and to be creative. Responses allow us to practice self-care, and caring for ourselves allows us to include the most powerful ingredient of all, and that is love. Love and compassion for humanity and the beauty of our collective journey and experience. This is the path of nonviolence that Gandhi and the Reverend Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. encouraged in the 20th century, and it is even more important now in the 21st. The danger of quick and violent reactions is that they too often dehumanize us and call us to behave like robots, to fight fire with fire, to wallow in fear, and to forget the full spectrum of creative responses that our human ingenuity bestows upon all of us. These types of route reactions only serve the systems of abusive power we seek to deconstruct. In short, they imbue us in the very qualities we seek to combat. On the contrary, responses to oppression that are rooted in love, collaboration, consensus, and community are unexpected and powerful. Thus, your faculty challenge you to respond to the challenges of leadership you will all face with love, magnanimity, patience, and generosity to not become trapped or conditioned to make rapid reactions which limit your creative potential. Instead, choose courage and solidarity with your community and allies. We challenge you to choose love as you graduate from this institution with the mission to change the world. And I know you will. We love you, we are proud of you, and we will always be here for you. We will always be the community to which you may return. We are proud to be your teachers and we are proud to be SMC. Congratulations to you all. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the beauty of tonight and your accomplishment and be the strong leaders of tomorrow that our world so dearly needs. Thank you, Dr. Donahue. It is now my pleasure to introduce an outstanding student and graduate who will present the student challenge. I will not say too much. I definitely don't want to take anything away from what she's going to say in her remarks. But here are a few important facts about Maya Thompson. Maya Thompson, SMC's 2019 student speaker, is a non-traditional student. She wouldn't stop at anything to fulfill her goals. And in her last year here, Maya faced homelessness, and through the Black Collegians and Adelante programs, and through Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, Maya received, in her own words, and I quote, a solid foundation and the second place to call home. Maya is active in giving back and has been a mentor in SMC's Sister to Sister program at John Adams Middle School. Maya is also a scholar in UCLA's Center for Community Colleges Partnerships program. She graduates today with an associate degree in social and behavioral sciences and will transfer to the UCLA Department of World Arts and Cultures with a minor in Film Studies. And we need somebody helping to make some good films, so they tell all the stories. 
I encourage you to read Maya's bio, which is in your program, along with those of six of her fellow graduates who all have inspiring stories to tell. So please join me in welcoming Maya Thompson to the podium to deliver the student challenge. Good evening, Dr. Jeffrey, Board of Trustees, Secretary Padilla, family, friends, distinguished guests, and especially the SMC graduating class of 2019. As I stand here before you today, I am reminded of a quote by a beautiful, strong, and phenomenal woman. She said, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty, Maya Angelou. It is a great honor to be today's student speaker, but it's also a very heavy task because I have so much to say. A month ago, I remember thinking, 30 days. The closer I got to graduation, the harder it was for me to stay focused. I know I'm not the only one in here that just wanted to binge watch their favorite shows on Netflix instead of studying, <laughs> hang out in the quad with friends, maybe get some free food. And plus, it's hard to study when you're so close to the beach. <laughs> 30 days. The next 30 days could change my entire life. Either I was going to fail or I was going to become a great success. But I've never been too good at failing, though. It's not in my blood. My mother, she's a fighter. And my father, he passed on his genes of strength to me. My grandmother, little Native American warrior, was one of the strongest fighters my mom said she ever knew. Sleeping in my car for the last year, like too many of my peers, was one of the strongest fights I ever had to endure. It challenged my faith. It challenged my purpose and it challenged my strength. Yet I was not in that fight alone. I am here representing one of the many homeless students here at SMC who lived through difficult situations because they believed their fight would not be in vain. But fighting is painful. It makes you bleed, it makes you cry, it exposes all of your weaknesses and leaves you vulnerable for attack. However, once you overcome that fight, it makes you a warrior. All of us here are not only scholars, we are all warriors of education. Whether you're an artist, a STEM major, a dreamer, a veteran, differently abled, a student of color, or a parent, not one person here has avoided some type of struggle. Although some struggles are more difficult than others, everyone has experienced some form of pain. <laughs> like a caterpillar that radically changes its body emerging into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Our pain does not define who we are. That pain is not a crutch. That pain is not a sob story. And I'm gonna say that again. Our pain is not a sob story. It is a testimony of our strength, our survival, and our victory. So don't ever be ashamed of your journey because that what we have overcome defines who we are. 
Butterfly Warriors of Education. We have conquered our finals. The hard hitting subjects that scared us. Math and science almost killed me. <laughs> it was scary, but we survived. We have faced our fears head on with the team of soldiers around us. Our professors, faculty, friends, and family, and we stand proud with them today. For me, it was people like Dr. Dowd and Ms. Bradford and Black Collegians, <laughs> Benny and Student Life, <laughs> my angel, Salima, VP, VP of Black Collegians, Judith in the math lab. She helped a lot of people. <laughs> My math teacher, Professor Romani. They believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So this win is for them, as well as for all of us. Like the butterfly, we can move forward to pollinate and touch others with the beautiful light that shines within each and every one of us. Our pain has turned into a pair of colorful wings. We have blossomed. We have overcome. Warriors of 2019! You didn't fold. You survived to fight the next battle, but don't stop moving because your fight continues. My challenge to you today is to take the knowledge that you learned here at SMC and become warriors of change and make a difference that will positively impact the children of the future so they don't have to fight as hard. Never forget the people who stood beside you or your ancestors who came before you to pave the way. It is because of them that you survive. Because in the words of my Shiro, nobody but nobody can make it out here alone. Thank you. Maya Thompson, warrior. And Maya, would you turn around so people can see your mortarboard, see your butterflies? All right. Thank you, that was beautiful and inspiring. Thank you so much for sharing your story for sharing your struggle, and thank you so much for letting SMC be part of your journey. We're going to hear now from another inspiring individual, and I'm very, very thrilled to introduce our 2019 commencement speaker, the Honorable Alex Padilla, California Secretary of State. When he arrived, it was easy to see he was a person of authority just because of his carriage, but his manner and his style was so inviting and so welcoming and so, so gracious. Sometimes when people carry the title that he carries, they're a bit aloof and distant, but that is not at all part of the presence of this gentleman that is going to come and speak to us shortly. A proud son of immigrants whose father worked as a short order cook while his mother cleaned houses, Secretary Padilla went from Los Angeles Public Schools to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, 
one of the most prestigious institutions in the field that he studied. And there he earned a degree in mechanical engineering. In 1999, he was selected to the Los Angeles City Council to represent the community where he grew up. He was 26 years old at the time. In 2001, his colleagues elected him to the first of three terms as city council president, the youngest member and first Latino to serve in that capacity. In 2006, Secretary Padilla was elected to the first of two terms to the California State Senate. And as a state senator, he authored legislation to improve the community college transfer process, creating associate degrees for transfer that would be accepted for full credit by the California State University system. Some of you will benefit from his work. Over the course of eight years, he successfully authored legislation on telecommunications, broadband deployment, energy and energy efficiency, grid modernization, education, job creation, and a number of other issues in critical areas. And then in 2014, he was elected as the California Secretary of State the first Latino to be elected to this constitutional office in the state of California. And in this role, in this role he has committed to modernizing the office, increasing voter registration and participation, and protecting voting rights. Last year, the California Motor Voter Program was launched and registered one million new voters in its first year alone. And Secretary Padilla also secured the passage of the Voters' Choice Act. And in 2018, Secretary Padilla oversaw the state's historic general election where 64.5% of registered voters cast a ballot this represented the highest turnout for, gubernat for a gubernatorial election since 1982. And in March of 2019, California reached a record 20 million registered voters. He led the work to get that many people to be registered to vote and then to actually vote. <laughs> Secretary Padilla, Never underestimate the power of your vote. It makes a difference. Secretary Padilla lives in the San Fernando Valley with his wife Angela and their three sons. And he told me his six-year-old just graduated and wore his cap and gown and a little mortarboard and so from kindergarten. So um, they're going to take pictures together, I think, with the, the cap and gown and the mortarboard and everything. It'll be a nice um, memory for the years ahead for them to look back on. So let's give the Honorable Alex Padilla a true SMC welcome, and I invite him now to the podium to deliver the 2019 commencement address. Wow. Good evening, SMC. Graduates, how do you feel? I can feel the energy all the way up here on the stage. I want to start by thanking President Jeffries for that very kind and, and thoughtful introduction. And frankly, for your ongoing leadership here at Santa Monica College. Uh, you probably have all heard it. You're probably proud of it. But I want to take this moment to recognize the tremendous reputation that Santa Monica College has for your academic record. Even years before the Student Transfer Achievement Reform Act of 2010, Santa Monica College was a leader, not just in students coming through here, but in students moving on to four-year universities. But as the author of that reform in 2010, I 
got to tell you how excited I am to see how many students all over the state are benefiting from that clear, more consistent pathway to four-year universities, including many of you sitting here in your caps and gowns here today. I want to also recognize the trustees, the faculty that are here, the administrators, and the classified staff, because it's taken the collective effort of all of you to make Santa Monica College what it is today. It's your collective commitment both to education and to the students that has given Santa Monica College the, the reputation that you've earned. Of course, good evening to all the family and the friends of graduates that are here to celebrate. We have them on the side view seating here. We have them in the bleachers in the back. We even have an overflow crowd on top of the parking structure. Let's give them a wave. There's a lot of people here to celebrate. But the biggest welcome of the evening is for the SMC class of 2019. including one Saul Isher, Isher, Eisler, I'm sorry, who is graduating at the ripe young age of 85. to all of us that it's never too late to learn. I want to thank you all for allowing me to share this special, special occasion with you. As I look out at all of you, darn you look good. I'm reminded of my own college graduation, which was, seems like just yesterday, feels like just yesterday, but was now 25 years ago. This last weekend, my uh, classmates, the MIT class of 1994, got together in Massachusetts to celebrate our 25-year reunion. I didn't get a chance to go, so I'm going to celebrate with all of you here. How's that? <laughs> but it feels like it was just yesterday that uh, I was wearing my cap and gown, you know, had my stomach filled with butterflies of excitement to celebrate with my friends, my classmates, that I was graduating from college. And I was celebrating also with my family. After years and years of reading, and writing, and studying, and presentations, and taking tests, and working to help pay for tuition and books and everything else, I was graduating from college. I felt like I was ready to enter the world and conquer the world like many of you feel today. It was a special day for me. But it, is, it was even a more special day for my parents. My parents, as you heard, were immigrants. My father, Santos Padilla, and my mother, Lupe Padilla, came to the United States from, Mex from Mexico in the 1960s. My dad. My dad is from the state of Jalisco, and he came, <laughs> works every time. <laughs> and he came to the United States with a first grade education and a dream and an incredible work ethic. My mom, My mom was from the state of Chihuahua. That usually works too. And she was the lucky one. She had a chance to finish elementary school before having to work and help the family like my dad did. She too came to the United States with a big dream and an even bigger heart. They came separately, giving themselves each a year to maybe find a job. 
and a path to a better life. And in that year, they did find jobs. They found each other. They fell in love and decided to apply for green cards in that particular order. And I thank the US government every day for saying yes to those applications because Because if those applications would have been denied, my life story would have been a lot different. But they were approved. My parents went on to uh, quickly get married, settle into the San Fernando Valley, and start a family. The, um, before retiring, my father worked as a short order cook. You heard that in, in the introduction. And for the same 40 years, my mom used to clean houses. That's hard work. Honest work. But with that work and with that sacrifice, my parents raised three children. I have a sister who's been a teacher's aide. She's been a teacher. She's been an assistant principal. She's been a principal. And she now works as an administrator for the Los Angeles Unified School District. I have a, have a brother who works as chief of staff to Los Angeles City Council member Nuri Martinez. And I proudly stand before you as California Secretary of State. Now, now think about that. In one generation, my family has gone from being the immigrants, the cooks, the house cleaners, to me standing before you as one of the constitutional officers in the most populous state in the nation, this great state of California. The American dream is alive. That's right. The American dream is alive. The American dream is under attack at times, but the American dream lives on. Now, as Secretary of State, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind all of you, if you're 18 years or older and a citizen of the United States, you need to register to vote and vote in every election, not just when we're voting on President of the United States, but especially when we're voting on President of the United States. And in California, we make it simple and easy. You can go to registertovote.ca.gov. But in all seriousness, I do want, I need your voices heard in the political process. If you didn't get to this in government class or in math class, young Californians ages 18 to 29 represent the biggest potential voting block, but represent the voting block that tends to register and vote at the lowest rates. Now, if you haven't heard, we got an election coming up next year. In 2020, our presidential primary is coming in March. It'll be here before you know it. And your votes can make a difference. California is going to be one of the first states to vote in the presidential primary, not one of the last. And so I want your voices heard in that election. Now, I've shared my family story tonight, and I've shared it proudly. But I also have shared it humbly, because that just happens to be my story. I know in each and every one of you, there's a story of sacrifice, of hard work, of dreams, and of perseverance. And so I want to acknowledge your stories, the stories of what you've been through, the story of what you and your family will do in the future to contribute to this country, to contribute to our state, to contribute to your community. So for all of that, I also say thank you. And once again, congratulations. You know, the fact that my sister, my brother, and I are all public servants, given what we do, is no coincidence. It is completely a reflection of lessons and values that our parents instilled in us. Many, many lessons, many, many values. 
chief among them, the principles of education and helping others. Can't tell you how many times when I was growing up, my father would interrupt me trying to do my homework. And he would tell me, hijo, cuando crezcas, quiero que trabajes con tu mente y no con tu espalda. If you didn't, <clears throat> I'll translate. Can't tell you how many times my dad interrupted my homework and would tell me, son, when you grow up, I want you to work with your mind. I want you to work with your brain, not with your back. Now, there's a lot of honor for those who do manual labor in our society. But it was my dad's way of saying that he wanted us, he wanted me to get a good education so that I would have more opportunities in life than he did. And the way to that was getting that good education. I graduated from San Fernando High School in 1990, which means that it was in the 80s that I was in junior high and going through high school. Anybody here see this movie called uh, Straight Outta Compton? That was the 80s. And the gang violence and drug activity that you've heard about in Los Angeles in the 80s was not isolated to South LA. The community I grew up in, Pacoima, was not immune. I remember one evening when I was in about the eighth grade, had two neighbors, one from down the block, one from around the corner, Mr. Fajardo, Mr. Olvera, come knock on our door. They sat my parents down in the living room and just poured out their frustration that despite their calls to law enforcement, despite their calls to the politicians at the time, that nobody was responding even though on a nightly basis we could look outside our front window and saw gang activity, violence, drug dealing, prostitution, and it was only a matter of time before that police helicopter started circling overhead. And if our representatives weren't going to do anything about it, then the parents in the community had to come together to make it be known to those behind the crime that they were not welcome here. And in short order, some of the parents and some of the kids started taking some risk, started taking down license plate numbers and descriptions of cars of those we knew did not belong in our community. Within a couple of years, we had taken our neighborhood back and it was safe to walk the streets again. I learned a lot through that experience. Our world has tremendous opportunity, but our world is not perfect. And many times, our world is not fair. And if you are like me and want to see our world change for the better, we can't just sit back and wait for it to happen. We can't just sit back and let others come in and do it for us. Like the saying goes, be the change you want to see in the world. That experience and that lesson weighed on me years later when I came home from MIT with that mechanical engineering degree. There were two things happening in Southern California in the early 90s that changed the course of my life forever. Number one, Southern California was in a deep, deep recession. And so uh, if I had any aspirations of going back to Hughes Aircraft for that mechanical engineering job in aerospace, it was going to be tougher than I would have imagined. But the other thing, in 1994, there was a measure on the ballot that November that we refer to now as Proposition 187. And for those of you who may not remember what Proposition 187 was, let me explain it. It was a question before the voters of California that said, should we make immigrants and children of immigrants no longer eligible for public services? What does that mean? That means if, let's say, your family did not have health insurance through your parents' employer, and the only chance you had to see a doctor if you were sick was to go to a county clinic, that you could no longer do that because public health is a public service. 
depending on the lawyer you asked, it also meant that children like me could no longer go to public schools because some argue that public education is a public service. That sound familiar? Sounds a whole lot like some of the rhetoric we're hearing in our national political environment today. Well, folks, that was the state of California when I was sitting where you are, not that long ago. So up until that time, I confess I was very cynical about politics and politicians. I had reason to be. But Proposition 187 changed everything. After Proposition 187, which was defeated in the courts, by the way, there was a lot of people throughout the state of California, like my parents, who really had no plans or urgency to become citizens, finally make that choice and start the process, not just to help protect themselves and their families, but so that they could register to vote and vote in every election. And you had a lot of people of my generation who might have been cynical up until that point finally realize that born here as a citizen, I didn't just have a right, I had an obligation to register and to vote. And I quickly learned that I could do way more than just that. I could register, I could vote, but I could also organize. I can organize my friends, I can organize my family, my neighbors, my classmates, and fight for our community. And less than five years later was my first election to the Los Angeles City Council. So I'm going to pause right there because I don't think I'm here tonight to give you my walk down memory lane or a lecture on California political history. The point of me sharing all this with you is something I've said once already and brings more meaning to it now. The American dream is still alive. I'm here. I'm here as proof that if you're willing to work hard for what you believe in and persevere, that you can make your life and this world a better place for you, for your family, for your community, and for future generations. Just to be here today is testimony that you've already worked hard. To be here today and to celebrate today is testament that you've already persevered. Now, I know it hasn't been easy. Today's ceremony is just the evidence of your years of determination, of studying, and hard work, balancing academics with working to pay the bills. So yes, I implore you to take time today and the next couple of days to celebrate this important milestone for you and for your family. And make sure you take time to thank those around you, your friends, your classmates, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, for having been part of your journey and your success. After today, you're one big step closer to realizing your California dream. Now, after today, many of you have chosen to, uh, as your next step, to go on to a four-year university, whether it's a UC, a CSU, or one of the privates. Great, more studying, more tests. It's all good. It's part of the journey, part of the dream. Others will take your education and skills and go straight into the workforce. And I wish all of you all the success in the world in both your academic and your professional careers. But I invite you to do your part to make our nation, our states, and your community better. Civic responsibility begins with registering and voting, but it doesn't end there. Some of you may choose a career in public service, and if that's you, in advance, I say thank you. For others, it may not be public service. It'll be a different career path. And I ask you to please make sure to volunteer, to get involved, to support an organization or a cause that you feel passionate about. Be 
one of those warriors that Maya spoke so eloquently about. For just as you are inheriting this world from previous generations, it is now up to you to shape this world and make it better for future generations. So let's continue with this ceremony. Let's get on to our celebrations tonight. Congratulations again, Santa Monica College, class of 2019. Thank you, and God bless you. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Secretary Padilla. We are deeply appreciative of your presence here today, and I want to invite Maya Thompson to come back up because we have a presentation for you. It means a lot to our graduates today, Secretary Padilla, and to all of us here at Santa Monica College to have you with us. So thank you so very much for making the time to, and making the choice to accept our invitation over the many that you receive for engagements. It is now time to introduce Teresita Rodriguez, our Vice President of Enrollment Development, who has a few announcements to make. And then we'll move on to the part that I know you're anxious about, and that is the presenting of the degrees. We're almost there. Thank you, Dr. Jeffrey. I want to make some brief announcements about our graduates. This year marks the largest graduating class in SMC's history. 5,905 students are graduating with 9,110 9, degrees and certificates of achievement. 24 students are receiving a Bachelor of Science in Interaction Design, and 3,205 are receiving two or more degrees or certificates and 1,104 are receiving an associate's degree for transfer. <laughs> Students graduating with a bachelor's degree are wearing black gowns. Those, wearing, those graduating with an associate's degree or certificate of achievement are wearing a royal blue gown. You will notice that many of our graduates are wearing a stole or a cord. Students wearing a gold cord graduate with highest honors. And those are students with 4.0 grade point averages. A student wearing a silver stole graduates with high honors. And those are students with a 3.7 to a 3.99 grade point average. A student wearing a light blue stole graduates with honors. And those are students with a 3.0 to a 3.69 GPA. A student wearing a blue stole is a president's ambassador. A student wearing a gold stole and a gold cord is a member of Alpha Gamma Sigma Honor Society. And a student wearing a gold stole and a blue and gold cord is a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. A student wearing a kinte stole is a Black Collegians member. A student wearing a serape stole is an Adelante program member. 
A student wearing a purple cord is a Law Pathways program graduate. A student wearing a red stole is an EOPS care, care student. A student wearing a purple stole with blue trim is a Guardian Scholars member. A student wearing a stole with the Associated Students logo is a student government leader. A student wearing a white stole is a student athlete. Now as we prepare to call the students to the stage to be recognized, we request that you do not use air horns, and yes, I heard you. <laughs> Please do not photograph the graduates from the field. There is a designated photography area in the center of the bleachers, and a professional photographer will photograph each of the graduates as he or she accepts the diploma cover. Graduates have been advised on how to order those photographs. There are also professional photographers that will be available after the ceremony on the field to take professional family photos, which can then be ordered. We ask that all guests remain in their seats until all the graduates have been announced and the recessional has left the stadium. And immediately following, all graduates and guests are invited to join us for light refreshments in the alumni reception in the quad. Please exit through the north gates and proceed east towards the quad. You can't miss it. Congratulations, graduates, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, Vice President Rodriguez. I now want to recognize the Honorable Dr. Margaret Quinones Perez, the chair of our Board of Trustees, for the formal conferring of degrees. Will the graduates please stand? President Jeffrey, on behalf of the faculty, will you certify to the trustees of Santa Monica College District that each of these candidates has fulfilled all of the requirements of the degree or certificate of achievement they will receive? <laughs> Chair Quinones Perez, I so certify. Please be seated, and we're going to start calling your name right now. It's going to move fast, I promise. The names of the graduates will be read by Lori Guillermo, Sarah Nieves Lucas, Nate Donahue, and Jason Beardsley. And some of these names are very challenging, so we've got some great folks up here we're going to work these names and say them properly. Our Bachelor of Degree recipients will first come to the stage, followed by our Associate Degree and Certificate of, of Achievement recipients. Marshals, please direct the graduates to the presentation of diplomas. And I see we're queued up. Lori Guillermo. Oh, it's it is my great honor and pleasure to call forward the Bachelor of Science in Interaction Design graduating class of 2019. Sarah Satavi Potts. Yeah. I guess I'm reading it. Luxi Buenaventura. Manvel Alejandro Hernandez Cueva. Kathleen Huang. <laughs> Mordecai Yosef Friedman. Joseph Ivan Direki Tele Rosa. 
Stephanie Lucille Hawken. Jake Toyota. Esteban Gonzalez. Laura Nielsen. Chioma, Chioma Ogani. Nadina Kosick. Brenna Kallstrom. Michael Robert Schaefer. Jenny Lilcombe. Zachary Lalit. Hector Cruz, thank you. Hector Cruz. Florence Lafite. Douglas Ryan Dean. It is my honor to now call forward Associate Degree and Certificate of Achievement graduating students of the class of 2019. Ann Hertz, Fashion Design. It's my microphone. Excuse me. Laura Lee Greenwood, Associate Arts and Communication Studies. Slivana Omar, Fashion Design. Danielle Smith, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science, Business Administration. Mano Gabriel Schlick, Fashion Merchandising. Adrian Naras. Early Childhood Education. Aaron Rose Storkin, Graphic Design. Brittany Sharice Page, Liberal Arts. Congrats. Soar Shah Morgan, Liberal Arts, Psychology. Tiffany Olivia Lynn Miles, Liberal Arts, General Science. Gabriela Ruiz, Spanish Liberal Arts. Lisbeth Aguirre, Liberal Arts. Jess Lee Perez, Business Administration. Mary Atai, Interior Architectural Design. Chama El Ashmi, Business. <laughs> Svetlana Lepo, Interior Architectural Design. Marie Pigeot, Business. Alberto Rivera, Business. Marie Mewison, Psychology. Tegan Deanna Hunter Selbrady, Medical Administrative Assistant, Medical Coding and Billing Specialist. Risha Marthain, Business Administration. Gina McLendon, Early Childhood Education. Anel Nelly Alim, Music. Samon Sabeti Tusi, Business Psychology. Wally Lozana Diaz, General Science. Avun Gawarja Sazur, Early Childhood Intervention Assistant. Jennifer Sharp, General Science, Liberal Arts. Hermine Price, Early Childhood Studies. Hannah Bergstrom, Business, Sales, and Promotion. Oh, great. Charlene Boyd, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies. Congratulations. Emma Therese Fortune Blanc, Athletic coaching. Uh, Mary and Maya Thompson, Liberal Arts. Linda Alvarez, Journalism, Multimedia Storytelling. Dunya Bujalus, Liberal Arts, Film Studies. Emmeline Mokian, Entertainment Promotion, Marketing Production. Camille Annie Caroline Canivet, Environmental Studies. Diana Parra Garcia, Liberal Arts. Jessica Campos, Early Childhood Studies. Congrats. Jennifer Sofia Neutstrom, Journalism and Multimedia Storytelling. Griselda Elizabeth Moreno, Early Childhood Studies, Early Childhood Associate Teacher. Claudia Vardoni, Journalism Communication Studies. Cassandra Bugaran, Liberal Arts. Crystal Latrice Edwards, Public Policy. Natalia Mello, Psychology. 
Caitlin Danur, Communication Studies. Michelle Ramirez, History. Natalie Ann Barr, Communication Studies. Sambi Mwafalira, Broadcast Programming and Production. Emma Stenberg, Entrepreneurship. Joella Cruz Canlas, Medical Administrative Assistant. Caroline Eustierdahl, Cosmetology. Kenneth Maurice Martinez, Communication Studies. Lena Caroline Svensson, Fashion Merchandising. Sapphire Suzuki, Environmental Studies, Public Policy, General Science, Geography. Jaya Neopeni, Liberal Arts. Gloria Castellanos, Recycling and Resource Management, Early Childhood Studies. Jocelyn Lisset Valdez, Sociology, Liberal Arts, Psychology. Armando Correa, Liberal Arts. Audrey Pino, Liberal Arts. Alexis Lee Obrastoff, Psychology. Saul Eisler, Liberal Arts. Amir Digani, Business Administration. Vanessa Monstad, Journalism, Multimedia Storytelling. Hussein Mohammed, Kinesiology, Physical Education, General Science. Andrea Giletti, Communication Studies. Enrique Robles Mesa, General Science. Yuzi Mao, Mathematics. Cheryl Ashley Elizabeth Thomas, Liberal Arts, Political Science. Alice Marie Castang, General Science. Angelica. Angelica Elizabeth Trejo, Public Policy, Liberal Arts. Sabina Imanova, Liberal Arts, Political Science. Jesus Arango, Graphic Design. Noe Aguirre, General Science. Menamanda F. Webster, Liberal Arts. Maria de la Luz Gamino, Psychology. Andre Jesus Rosas, Film Studies. Gloria Janet Sanchez Rodriguez, Business Administration. Anthony Alfonso Alonso Jr., Business Administration, Logistics. Sonia Elizabeth Marroquin Artiga, Liberal Arts. William Aaron Wagner. William Aaron Wagner. <laughs> Mohammed Aziz Eluze, Business. Benar Aziz, Business Administration. <laughs> Maria Concepcion Ramirez, General Science. Michelle Gina Axoe, Communication Studies. Elizabeth Rivera, Rivera Liberal Arts. Tom Adrianus Vera Verhagen, Liberal Arts, Theater Arts, Political Science. Zoya Scheich, General Science. Kimberly Hernandez, Sociology. Diana Rosibel Reyes, Business Administration. Joshua Bonilla, Computer Programming. Joanna Maribel Reyes, Liberal Arts. Alexa M. Hernandez Benavente, Recycling and Resource Management, Environmental Studies, Political Science. Akila Kalani Morinaka, Liberal Arts, Business. Estefany Hernandez, Fine Arts. Taya Shanice Ignacio, Registered Nursing. Juliet Gonzalez, Accounting. Amanda Catherine Ferry, Registered Nursing. Courtney Jordan Stewart, Business Administration. Aisha Katrina Ross, Registered Nursing. Logan A. Duragoto, Digital Media. Nacheja Kaive, Communication Studies. Min Gang, Marketing. Altwin Ubalde, General Science. Joshua Jimenez, Music. Alexandria Soledad Mesa. Christian Cordero Alva, Music, Jazz Saxophone. Ronnie Estuardo Maldonado, 
Communication Studies. Zoe Ann Mensch, Classical Tuba Performance Music. Margaret Side, Communication Studies. Fyodor Linkov, Music. Miriam Martinez Hernandez, Early Childhood Education. Michael Safanov, Business Administration. Simone Zamparini, Business Administration. Gozelia Mananova, Interior Architectural Design. Pilar Rentu Pirututa, Business Administration. Susan Bonnie Simon, Art. By their side, Finance. Jennifer Del Carmen Cortez, Liberal Arts. Nassif Zimmerli, Business Administration. James Lamousse, Business Administration. Carlene Zolkin, General Science. Chanel M. Dodson, Sociology. Melissa Buzart, Liberal Arts. Elizabeth Clara Sanchez, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Maya Judy, Business Administration. Daisy Nanette Varela Zapeda, Psychology. Ning Chen, Business Administration. Grace Jihae Kim, Liberal Arts. Charlene Herrera, Sociology, Communication Studies, and Liberal Arts. Angelica Vanessa Aguayo, Photography. Leanne Mariah Bogart, Liberal Arts, Public Policy, Business, Business Management, Leadership, and Accounting. Chi Yun Sham, Public Policy. Ivana Pantovoya Rezi, Political Science, Public Policy. Saki Satu, Liberal Arts, Public Policy. Emily Joseph Monterosa, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Etuge Fabrice Ulrich Mabese, Business Administration, Political Science. Julissa Fernanda Poz, Sociology, Liberal Arts. Nicolo Lenan Rolem, Film Studies, Film Production, Liberal Arts. Lara Catalina Mylenweg, Liberal Arts. Naoki Yamamoto, Entertainment Promotion Marketing, Production. Lorena Nicole Esparza, Communication Studies. Pierre Capron, Film Production. Philip Richard Enderwood Singh, History, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts. Melody Jean Myers, Liberal Arts. Infinity K. Alex, Business. Nancy Faith Sanchez, General Science, Anthropology. Pedro Antonio Morales, Jr., Business Administration, Accounting. Kimberly Angela Clement, Liberal Arts. Gustavo Medrano, Economics. Yaritza Itzel Guzman, Early Childhood Studies. Lisette Rodriguez, Economics. Catherine Elizabeth Jackson, Medical Coding and Billing Specialist. Kagan Ibrahim Ozdemir, Liberal Arts. Luca Peter Dragojevich, Film Studies, Film Production, Liberal Arts. Carolyn Delaney Alfaro, Journalism, Multimedia Storytelling. Roxandra Georgiana Barillas, Liberal Arts. Alexis Hernandez Lopez, Business Administration. Yun Peng Ling, Computer Science. Congratulations. Alberto Bravo Jr., Accounting yeah. Business. Omsi okay. Pitchford. Thanks. Omsi Pitchford, Graphic Design. Amos Arrington Jr., Liberal Arts. Lucia Guadalupe Alcantar, Liberal Arts. Nancy Janet Chavez, Liberal Arts. Leila Iman Akbar Grant, Administration of Justice. Francis Gusikov, Liberal Arts. How you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Christopher Dominic Reed, Liberal Arts. Selena Navas Menjivar, Liberal Arts Communications. Omer Raffaelli, Animation. Maria Celeste Flores, Liberal Arts. Sapir Yona, Psychology. Jasmine Flores, 
Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies, Liberal Arts. Niku Masudi, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Cindy Rebecca Delgado Maldonado, Business Administration. Emily Michelle Suarez, Communication Studies. Christopher Alvarez, General Science. Natalie Suzanne Sandoval, General Science. Michelle Figueroa Hernandez, General Science, Liberal Arts. Ariana Calantari, Liberal Woo! Arts, Communication Studies. Sadie Alexis Rady, Athletic Mary Coaching. Mary Hanna, General Science. Woo! Mani Espinosa Apilado, Athletic Coaching. Zahra Fatemi, History, Liberal Arts. Woo! Anna Juliana Kakeli, Kakela, Broadcasting Programming and Production. Panis Karimpour, Business Administration, General Woo! Science. Sierra Canoli, Communication Studies. Hasham Jarmakani, General Science, Economics. Treona Marie Enriquez, Logistics. Christina Ngema, General Science, Business Administration, Liberal Arts. Daler Olim Ginov, Liberal Arts, Office Assistant General Office, Computer Business Applications. Isabel Rodriguez Diegues, General Science, Economics, Liberal Arts. Angelina Marie Moreno, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Alexis Giancarlos Barrios, Graphic Design. Michael Langrock, Political Science. Chelsea Raquel Healy, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies, Journalism. Daniela Da Conceicao Kelly, Liberal Arts, Political Science. Catherine Ocampo, Liberal Arts, General Science. Ara Gaia Sensetti, Liberal Arts. Samantha Montinola, Liberal Arts. Congrats. Kevin Arispe, Liberal Arts. Celia Guadalupe Gonzalez, Liberal Arts. Eduardo Jose Gutierrez, Anthropology. Samantha Angeles Romo, Communication Studies. Nicolette Ayub, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies. Helen Melissa Izaguere, Political Science, Liberal Arts. Susan Marie Volez, Liberal Arts, General Science. Farah Ali Mosba, Liberal Arts, Anthropology. Yuritzia Nayeli Santiago Hernandez, Public Policy. Emily Pamela Cajon, General Science, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Natalie Isabel Savera, Saavedra, General Science. Anna Esther Moran, Women's, Gender and Sexuality Studies, Public Policy. Maya Tokuyama, Liberal Arts. Tracy Marie Hurtado, Fashion Merchandising. Diana Torres, Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. Evelyn Lucero Campos Martinez, Sociology, Liberal Arts. Denise Victoria Maria Abrami, Political Science, Liberal Arts. Jamelia Kinsey, Animation. Ariela Lisset Banda Castro, Liberal Arts, General Science. Ebonisha Noel Fisher, Psychology. <laughs> Adriana Jaramillo Castillo, Liberal Arts, Psychology, General Science. Gabrielle Alyssa Jones, Fashion Merchandising. Jeffrey Mejia, Studio Arts. Trayvana Lynn Bain, Public Policy. Ruth Elizabeth Vasquez, Liberal Arts. Nancy Guadalupe Lopez, Liberal Arts, Administration of Justice. Maria Teresa Martinez, Liberal Arts, General Science. Carlos Fernando Salvador Vasquez, Spanish. <laughs> Sofia Uilani Cuve, Liberal Arts, General Science. Liliana Elizabeth Hernandez, Communication Studies. Angelica Dominguez, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Samantha Mercedes Berrios, Psychology. 
Diana Marie Salazar, General Science. Maria Patricia Hernandez, Mathematics, General Science. Angeline Michael Jean, General Science. Damaris Lizama, Journalism. Let's go, Damaris! <sighs> Jesus Cortez, Liberal Arts. Carlos Rosad, Liberal Arts. Alexander Luis uh, Luzat, Film Production. Victor Manuel Cruz Castellanos, Film Studies, Liberal Arts, Film Production. Vivian Huerta Guimont, Film Studies and Film Production. Jonathan Marquez, Liberal Arts, Film Studies. Hi. Salam Ferris, Communication Studies. Dante Logan, General Science, Nursing. Sian Valentine, Liberal Arts. Brittany Joy Steffens, History. Abdul Aziz Albahar, Business Administration, Professional. Do I go when they call my name? Allison Lee Palmer, General Science. Fred Cohen, Photography. Alexandra Zoe Dauscher, Communication Studies. Michael Geiger Wang, Business Administration. Kimberly Jean Kilps, Political Science. Jumia Lincoln, Liberal Arts. Daye Ko, Cosmetology. Winston Charles Gillette, Liberal Arts. Natsumi Numora, Cosmetology. Brandon Marquise Gaspard Fikes, Communication Studies, Business. Saya E. Mezumi, Cosmetology. Malik Juvan Maloney, Business Management and Leadership. Nuria Luongo, Liberal Arts. Rosalva Curiel Lopez, Emil. Liberal Arts. Emil Nils Gustav Johansson, Computer Programming. Alexandra Camille Varejo, Medical Administrative Assistant. Rosmus Hansen, Computer Programming. Moses Gonzalez, Liberal Arts. Shirley Hosweth Zulka, Liberal Arts. Flora Beth Baidoya, Liberal Arts. Antonio Nezawalcoyo Aranda, Liberal Arts. Stephanie Mahana Brown, Liberal Arts. David Anthony Perez, Liberal Arts. Pedro Kawich, Computer Programming. Maya Manjarez, Psychology. Mariana Resania, Interior Architectural Design. Erica Isabel Barrera. Liberal Arts, Broadcast Programming and Production, Public Policy. Ivana Rieno, Liberal Arts. Daisy Munoz, Political Science. Jacqueline Hernandez, General Science. Catherine Oliva Catalan, Liberal Arts. Emil Zabruz, Kinesiology Physical Education. Emily Godinez, Liberal Arts. Jennifer Rosales, Liberal Arts. Sylvia Yvette Cardona Lara, General Science, Business Administration Professional, Business Administration. Cassandra Rojas, Liberal Arts, Administration of Justice and Public Policy. Jacqueline Lopez, Business Administration Professional. Michelle Roseanne, Bookman, General Science, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Lindsay Buenrostro, Liberal Arts. Brenda D'Angelo Vega, General Science, Anthropology, and Liberal Arts. Silas Eckhart, General Science, I get C C S U G E. Eladio Gonzalez, Liberal Arts. Yasamin Sarabipur, Technical Theater. Jessica Jasmine Garcia, Liberal Arts. Cesar Ramiro Lopez, Political Science. Yasmin Alvizures, Political Science. Cristian Jose Vasquez. Maria Natiala Chartier, 
fashion design, fashion merchandising. Kevin Zeilin, mathematics. Dave Vincent Martinez, liberal arts, film studies. Kun Sint Nechi Tintun, economics, business administration. Lauren Janae Collier, business administration. Shinmon Nanda, political science. Carol Ann Thompson, early childhood intervention assistant, infant toddler teacher, and early childhood studies. Fit Yin Win, <laughs> communication studies. Anthony Arevalo Fernandez, general science. Yvette Diaz, liberal arts psychology. Luis Castellanos, CSUG. Karen Bolanez, History, Liberal Arts. David Bautista, Administration of Justice. Zachary Pizzo, Mathematics, General Science. Roger William Sanchez, General Science, Mathematics. Crystal Marie Arena, Mathematics. Niza Cuellar, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Basiru Ianda Adebisi. Matthew Zarate Perez, Communication Studies. Eric Alberto Pedro, Psychology. Daisy Lares, Liberal Arts. Emily Barrios, Psychology. Stephanie Rivera, General Science. Mireya Vasquez, Liberal Arts. Angelica Joyce Budhai, Studia Arts. Rima Noor Algazari, General Science. Brianna Guadalupe Lopez Molina, Liberal Arts, General Science. Daisha Jordan, General Science. Okay. Karen Mejia, Liberal Arts. Harold Samuel Hines Jr., Communication Studies. Francisca Luis Luis, Psychology. Elida Yanelli Perez, Sociology. Ruby Miguel, Public Policy, Communication Studies. Daisy Pulido, Art History. <laughs> Azar Nush Masare, Asadi, Theater Arts. Nathan Samuel Medina, General Science, History. Steve Martinez, Igetzi, CSUGE. Bibiana Villigas, Studio Arts, Art History and Art. Adriana Lopez Vasquez, Psychology, Liberal Arts, General Science. Mario Grimaldo, Business Administration, Business. Nicole Martinez Bell, Early Childhood Education. Laura Michelle Giron, Liberal Arts, Psychology. Roy Espiritu, Liberal Arts. Federico de la Cruz III, Liberal Arts. Ana Belen Figueroa, Mer Fashion Merchandising. Edwin Hernandez, Communication Studies. Leila La Lesari, Early Childhood Studies. Alexandra Jo Roybal, Animation. Brandon Morales Zavala, Liberal Arts, Ethnic Studies. Vanessa M. Dotson, Liberal Arts. Romario Revelo, Graphic Design. Conrad L. Chagog, Jr., Sales and Promotion. Takayuki Miyazaki, Liberal Arts. Devon Frazier, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies. Sam Ma, General Science. Jose Carlos Solorzano, General Science. Jessica Arau, Liberal Arts. Stephanie Kingston, Liberal Arts. Mohamed Ali Miyahan, Liberal Arts. Jennifer Nicole Ware, Business Administration, Economics, General Science. Yudai Otake, Political Science. Ethan Cruz, History. Paulette Arce, General Science, Liberal Arts. Madeline Diana Morales, General Science. Jairo Juarez, General Science. Justin Maurice Martin, Business Entrepreneurship. 
Tiziano Federico Aiello Business. Kelvin Aquaboa, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Sayadeh Sabe Mosabi, Liberal Arts. Anthony Darrell Longmire Jr., Liberal Arts, Communication Studies. Zara Sayedi, Sayed Ali, General Science. Nevea Spivey, Communication Studies. Natalie Ramirez, Liberal Arts. Tiranette Kishel Green, Business Administration. Olivia Valencia, Administration of Justice, Liberal Arts. Dion Marie Thomas, Entertainment, Promotion, Marketing, and Production. Karen Salmeron, General Science, Liberal Arts. Shinsuke Kawanishi, Liberal Arts. Lorena Soto, Liberal Arts, Psychology. Alex David Garcia, Accounting. Esmeralda Gonzalez Venegas, Liberal Arts. Jefferson Lumbo, Kinesiology, Physical Education, General Science. Maralma Kurel Kissing, Accounting. Christian Emmanuel Miranda Castro, Computer Programming. Brandy Reina Palomares, Fashion Design. Melissa Johanna Pineda, Liberal Arts, General Science. Rico Marari, Liberal Arts. Andrea Nicole Grayson, Liberal Arts. Lina Cement, Office Assistant, oh, no, General me. Office. Hannah Nee, General Science. Isabella Arredondo, Business Administration. Sabrina Lee, Early Childhood Studies, Early Childhood Associate Teacher. Arturo Ayala, Environmental Studies, Liberal Arts, Public Policy. Alyssa Mia Robertson, Liberal Arts. Dorca, Dorcas Lusamba Tish, Tishmalanga, Computer Science, General Science. Jocelyn Noemi Hernandez, Liberal Arts, Political Science, Public Policy. Philip Boone, Communication Studies. William Aaron Wagner, Liberal Arts and Humanities. Roberto Gaeta, Psychology. Daniel de Gabriel Salazar, Communication Studies. Noel Jasmine Villanueva, Film Studies, Prieto. Film Production. Prieto. Gary Darcel Prieto, Film Studies. Marcela Lara, Liberal Arts. Catherine Lima, Journalism. Jacqueline Santiago, Liberal Arts. Crystal Selena Demetrio, Spanish Sociology, Liberal Arts. Lucina Ojebe, Liberal Arts. Sammy F. Gomez, Business. Veronica Bautista, Liberal Arts, Respiratory Therapy. Jacqueline Enriquez, Early Childhood Education, Liberal Arts. Sarina Ball, Respiratory Therapy. Yasmin Latifi, Early Childhood Studies. Elwin Abrigo, Respiratory Therapy. Simone A. Armstrong, Recycling and Resource Management. Essa Gannett, Respiratory Therapy. Narun Nisa Abdul Khalik, Film Studies. Rafael Padilla, Respiratory Therapy. Andrew Jacob Clark, Animation. Fitsum Tadesi, Respiratory Therapy. Jake Nathaniel Fauston, Animation. Jorge Antonio Gamero, Respiratory Therapy. Jackie Chang, Fashion Design. Jorge Monroe, Respiratory Therapy. Jairo Ivan Zelaya, Liberal Arts, General Science. Jennifer Escobar, Respiratory Therapy. Rainer Matthew, Business Administration. Blanca Escarano, Respiratory Therapy. Cassandra, Mathematics. 
Kara Wong, Respiratory Therapy. William Jabunto, Business Administration. Ramona uh, Clarkson, Respiratory Therapy. Joe C. Diaz, Communication Studies. Dalia Cortez, Spanish. Anthony Hernandez, Communication Studies. Kristen Yi, Communication Studies. Momo Adachi, Fashion Merchandising. Albert Joshua Mendez, Business Administration. Pin Shan Chen, Fashion Merchandising. Diego Benjamin Johansson, Environmental Studies. Yeah, Diego! Solar Lisset. Photovoltaic Installation and Energy Efficiency, General Science. Jenny Lisset, Lisset Valdez, General Science. This is it, a degree as well. Okay, got it. Uh, Joseph Maxwell Colco, General Science, Environmental Studies, Public Policy, Solar Photovoltaic Photovoltaic Installation and Energy Efficiency. Joanne Isabel Garcia, Psychology. Joanne Matthews, Liberal Arts. Tui N. Wong, Business Administration, Professional, Liberal Arts. Claudia Salvador Casas, Political Science. Maria Jose Toledo, Liberal Arts. Dia Gabriela Beno, Anthropology, Liberal Arts, General Science. Alisa Jacqueline Cardona, Liberal Arts. Crystal Nicole Ryan, Early Childhood Studies. Tiffany Fernandez, Liberal Arts. Minako Furukawa, Liberal Arts. Jenny Berlin Vasquez, Business Administration, General Science. Prop in three, Tsunami Twist, Fashion Design. Marisa Vasquez, General Science, Liberal Arts. Joanna Rodriguez, Communication Studies. Osili Delmeda Harrison, Liberal Arts. Tachutsi Ishikawa, General Science. Roxanne Arlene Moran, Early Childhood Education. It's Corrado. Corrado, thanks. Gentaro Sasaki, Athletic Thank Coaching. You. Nicholas Corrado, Liberal Arts. Takahiro Inoue, Business Administration Professional. Leslie Suset Salgado, Liberal Arts. Thank you. Bawini Agetsi. Ashley Valentina Avina, Early Childhood Education. Italo Monti Bertacola, Communication Studies. Cindy Elizabeth Navarro, Business Administration. Merv Yildirim, Business Management Leadership. Japria Don Allen, Liberal Arts. Naomi China Smith, Political Science, Liberal Arts. Gender Studies and Ayetzi. Blanca Estela Garcia Madera, Business. Anton Yastribenetsky, Political Science. Kyle Alexander Henderson, Business. Veronica Elizabeth Alfaro, Liberal Arts. Alexandra Guadalupe Chi, Administration of Justice, Liberal Arts. Ricky Jonathan Bautista, Liberal Arts. Noor Javidi, General Diane. Science. Stephanie Diane De La Rosa Sanchez, General Science. Sabrina Turayo De La Roca, General Science. Brooke Noel Vial, General Science. Bio. Nancy Teresa Flores, Liberal Arts. Emily Tong, Accounting. Kevin Daniel Santos, Business Administration. Maxwell Max Jerome, Film Production. Melissa De Leon Lava, General Science, Economics. Evelyn Yomaira Alvarado, Science of Medical Administrative. 
Callie Rader, Liberal Arts. Priscilla Lara Aro, Liberal Arts Communications. Annette Elaine Cuenca, Liberal Arts General Science. Tamara Argueta, Art History. Kevin Lee Maxwell, Liberal Arts. Madeline Wharton, Administration of Justice. Marvin Arturo Morales, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Tina Gas, Music. Maria Camila Diaz, Liberal Arts. Camilo Seao, Administration of Justice. Anna Ruth Escobar, Early Childhood Education. Jessica Mendez, Administration of Justice. Alejandra Morales, Communication Studies. Magdalena Melchor, Liberal Arts. Cynthia Garcia, Communication Studies. Giselle Gradilla, Liberal Arts. Evelyn Natalie Ramos, Liberal Arts. Yahaira Garcia, Psychology. Arisa Tanigawa, Liberal Arts. Holland Ackerman, Liberal Arts. Yunsa Lee, Liberal Arts. Zhen Xian Bao, Liberal Arts. Celia Yadira Cortez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Gulsir Al, Business Management Leadership. Yasmin Ida Nizam, Public Policy. Lisa Couch, Oops. Liberal Aristi. Arts. Michelle Aristi, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Melinda Nichols, Computer Programming. Max Alexander Funes, Political Science. Delmi Ventura, Liberal Arts Philosophy. Olivia Estefana Blanco, Liberal Arts. Jasmine Damien, Liberal Arts. Jose Lee, Theater Arts. Michael Yu, Liberal Arts. Mary Simosola Ogunmeru, General Science. Maral Mirsoyan, Communication Studies. Amira Majrashi, General Science. Alejandra Herrera, Liberal Arts Geography. Lenka Slevova Svabi, Liberal Arts Art History. Lily Galloway, Liberal Arts. Carlos Roberto Calderon Jr., General Science. Sarah Tamashiro, Dance. Shalina Reyes, Liberal Arts Communication Studies. Marie Kawabata, Dance. Kimberly Yada, Fashion Merchandising. Jorge Cabrera Jr., Liberal Arts General Science. Paige Danielle Mikfazian, Fashion Merchandising, Fashion Design. Andriana Parisi, Sales and Promotion, Entertainment Promotion, Marketing Production. Deanna Jeanette Rodriguez, Liberal Woo! Arts, Fashion Woo! Design, Fashion yeah! Merchandising. Yes, Ebony Diana. Bullard, Medical Coding and Billing Specialist, Medical Administrative Assistant. Derek Parnell Heron, Fashion Merchandising. Jessica Escobar Reyes, Sociology. Elizabeth L. Medellin, Fashion Design. Monica Mijangos, Political Science, Liberal Arts. Shidong Chang, General Science. Cheyenne Pushai, Fashion Design. Pini Liu, General Science, Liberal Woo! Arts. Joanne Alvarez, Business Administration. Emmy Osaki, Recycling and Resource Management. Iliana Centeno, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Kiho Hirayama, Liberal Arts. Corey Roman, Environmental Studies. Fatima Rostampur, Athletic Coaching. 
Mohammed Bashir Arara, Business Administration Professional. Ariona Bizaron, Liberal Arts. Elias Sagudori, Business Administration. Sarah Jean Bush Khan, Psychology. Karim Sharef, Business Administration. Linda I. Perez, Communication Studies. Kimberly Sowos, Public Policy, Medical Coding, and Billing Specialist. Paul A. Biafor, Business Administration. <laughs> Portia Denise Woodard, Fashion Design. <laughs> Jason Cola, Liberal Arts. Aliyah Davis, Business Administration Logistics. Joshua Manrique Giron, Business Administration, Business Administration Professional. James Eli Mitchell, Business Administration. Alexis Alejandro Garcia, General Science. Exu Wang, Early Childhood Studies. Linda Lucia Hernandez, Liberal Arts. Anna Karina Martinez, Infant Toddler Teacher. Helena Gonzalez, Psychology. Mariah Renee Sharp, General Science. Allison Barredo Marquez, Liberal Arts, Political Science. Jason Funston, General Science, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Jesse Oliveira, yeah. Studio Arts, Liberal Arts. Kimia Sharavanpour, Liberal Arts, General Science. Oscar Lopez, Liberal Arts. Swain Yang, Communication Sorry. Studies. Ruben Alfonso Soria Jr., Liberal Arts. Ruth Lendo, General Science. Cyril Najomo Naganso, General Science. Daniel Sharton Epstein. Communication Studies. Marcus Aaron Johnson, Liberal Arts. Joshua Zane Barsky, Liberal Arts, General Science. Nara Pena, Psychology. Josephine Guadalupe Adams, Liberal Arts. Guadalupe Jasmine Enojosa, Liberal Arts. Patricia Jacqueline Vejicana, Early Childhood Intervention Assistant, Early Childhood Education, Early Childhood Associate Teacher. Gotcha. Gotcha, Rosalba Lache, Psychology. Daisy Rivera, Early Childhood Education, Early Childhood Associate Teacher. Jonathan Garrett Parker, Mathematics, General Science. Andrea Celeste Toledo, General Science, Nursing. Levi Gertz, Film Studies. Jesus Alvarado, History. Corey Mann, Film Production. Elisa Graciela Torres, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Eli Davidson, General <laughs> Science, Economics. Ileana Yonat Shamul, Business Administration. Benjamin Stewart Oling, Political yeah. Science, Liberal Arts. Yeah, Brian Said Alvarado Sosa, right. Business Administration. Ruby Lisette Amaya Yanez, Liberal yeah. Arts. Sobele Ucio, Liberal Arts. Storm Angelica Delgadi, Psychology. Yeah. Myra Garcia, Sociology. Anastasia Zinulina, Business Administration. Brenda Gonzalez, General Science. McKenna Palmer, Liberal Arts, Women's, Gender and Sexuality Studies. Carlina Raquel Masafere, General Science. Angel Maria Escoto, Art. Nivia Elizabeth Ramos Velasquez, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Sayeda Hollander, Business. 
Zuri Morales, Sociology, Liberal Arts. Jasmine Moss, Business. Lucereto Fabiola Sanchez, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Bela Rain Borges, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Yavuz Belizli, General Science. Brittany Virginia Sanders, Liberal Arts, Film Studies. Thank you. Congratulations. Go Kate, Iran, Film Production, right. Film Studies. Faten H. Safadi, General Science. Neil Su Timoroko, Theater Arts, Technical Theater. Wale Safadi, General Science. Rebecca Edith Monteroso, Communication Studies. Daniela Davila, Liberal Arts, Sociology. Stephanie Urias, General Science, Liberal Arts. Nabil Bandi, Business Administration. Chris Lee Gonzalez, Valadez, Liberal Arts. Vanessa Ortega, Liberal Arts, Administration of Justice. Adriana Gabriela Corrales, Liberal Arts, yes. Early Childhood yes. Education yes. and Psychology. Rosa Yasmin Aguirre, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts. Alan Ellis Moreno, Business Administration. Yes. Chanel Puelo, Graphic Design. Rachel Karang Asudu, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts. Omar Brunner Tapia, Business Administration. Damaris Alvarez, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts. James Fairman Ladesma, Political Science. Sebeda Raifi, Office Assistant, Legal Administration. Hazel Sif, Communication Studies. Sarah Gaticia, Art. Noah Jordan Schwartz, Mathematics. Casey Contreras, Journalism, Communication Studies at Liberal Arts. Sierra Jesse Sanz, Early Childhood Studies. Ariana Reyes Ramirez. Liberal Arts. Andrea Elizabeth Bentler, Accounting. Patricia Ramirez, Liberal Arts, Spanish, Communication Studies. Ashley Ann Tucker, General Science. Adam Robert Arnold, Public Policy, Liberal Arts. Jacqueline Bundes, General Science. Edwin Chamilis. Film Production, Film Studies. Ki Yun Chang, Sales and Promotion. Sukra Akabarava, General Science. Abigail Giselle Reyes, General Science, Business Administration. Fatima Akbarava, Liberal Arts. Sarah Cortes, Liberal Arts. Sadat Ito Mazova, General Science. Elise Mini Gary, Communication <laughs> Studies. Ni Nicole Francis Carr, Business. <laughs> Cindy Cordova, Igetsi, CSUGE. Spencer Shelby Smith, Liberal Arts. Rand Alobaid, General Science. Elaine Gonzalez, Psychology. Casey Ramsey Frika, Kinesiology, Physical Education, Liberal Arts. Susana Urutia, Early Childhood Studies. Arish Khan, Communication Studies. Lisette Vasquez, Sociology, Liberal Arts. Elena Monson, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Chalodia Madar Madar Madarasing, Fashion Merchandising, Fashion Design. DeAndre Waterford, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Laureana Andres Antonio, Liberal Arts. Alexander Cristian Melendez, Entertainment Promotion, Marketing Production.
Natalie Lopez Soto, Early Childhood Education, Infant Toddler Teacher, Liberal Arts. Sakia Shanice Jones, Sociology, Liberal Arts. Nancy Nicole Hernandez Rayon, Early Childhood Studies, Associate Teacher. Kennedy Arnett Mitchell, Liberal Arts. Chakta Bryce, General Science, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Troy Bronson, Liberal Arts, History, Communication Studies. Anthony Arango, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Shukufe Shuku Nia, General Science. Brandon Conish, Communication Studies. Mohammed Korgamfar, Psychology. Alec McClendon, Liberal Arts. Taiwan Darnell Braden Jr., Business Administration. Jasmine Barker, Public Policy. Mitchell Silberberg, General Science, Liberal Arts. Caleb Gomez, Public Policy. Alexandria Aurora Martinez, General Science. Jaime Argueta, Business Administration. Carla G. Canela, Medical Administrative Assistant. Carl Larson, Global Studies. Sida Akaltin, Entertainment Promotion, Marketing Production. Alessandro Vitiello, Marketing. Burke Ugerlu, Marketing. Amanda Arroyo, Psychology. Lisa Agnes Marie Owal Hansen, Athletic Coaching. Juliana Gutierrez Ramirez Wilkins, Psychology. Raymond Navarro, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Oliver Patrick Harris, Psychology. Miles Alexander Nelson, Liberal Arts. Corey Delaley, Environmental Studies. Gabriel Alberto Garcia, Communication Studies. Faye Dunn, Environmental Studies. Brenda Itzel Andres, Liberal Arts. Sylvia Sikafi, Liberal Arts, Anthropology. Crystal Malagon, Art, Studio Arts. Naledi Modise, Liberal Arts and Communication and Media Studies. Rachel Shirasi, Business Administration. Armani Gamble, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies. Jason Albert Givargazinha, Business Administration. Dania Leanne Pollock, Anthropology. Anita Makarova, Film Studies. Diego Antonio Rios, Photography. Alina Bringsley, Psychology. Karen Yvette Duran, Photography. Sara Estrada, Political Science. Alessandra Andrea Gutierrez, Photography. Oh, sorry. Anaí Rubio, Early Childhood Education. Valerie Usan Rasmussen, Photography. Stephanie Isamar Monroy, Liberal Arts, Early Childhood Education. Michael Camacho, Photography. <laughs> Myagmar Boldbatar, Business Administration. Nafise Yurdokamni, Photography. Kayla Nakayama, Psychology. Mitchell Lee Guerrero, Photography. Karen Anahi Perez Pablo, Liberal Arts. Leslie Ann Pine, Theater Arts. Katia Jasmine Kudiel, Psychology, Liberal Arts. Ivan Lopez, Photography. Delia Alondra Espinosa, Liberal Arts. Carl Freestad Vaslag, Photography. 
Barry Bickley, Jr., Sociology, Liberal Arts. Maria Ercilia Canala, Photography. Ruby Carbajal, Public Policy, Business Administration. Sarah Catherine Ellison, Photography. Jennifer Elizabeth Estrada, Liberal Arts. Stephanie Zeck, Photography. Samantha Marie Clavel, Graphic Design. Dario Rizzo, General Science. Marek Kavasek, General Science, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Nava Lavigne, Nutrition and Dietetics, General Science. Israel Guzman, Business Management, Leadership. Tracy Mendez, Geography. Just the first one. Okay. Harley Young, Liberal Arts. Elmer Rodrigo Lopez, Business Administration. Sienna Osadon, Liberal Arts, Psychology, Early Childhood Education. Alexei Lansov, Film Studies. Ariana Aceves, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts. Mariah Martinez, General Science. F. Damian Barella, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Greta Pasaglia, Film Production. Jamie Baca, Entrepreneurship. Mia Mendoza, Liberal Arts. Victor Isai Diaz, General Science. Tavita Teo, Accounting. Luis Alberto Donis, Business Administration. Wen Quan Tu, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Julia De Freitas Vale Padilla, Business Administration. Gang Zhang Business. Michelle Elizabeth Mata, Early Childhood Education. Ki Yin, Liberal Arts. Melanie Daniela Hernandez, Business Administration. Chloe Durant, Liberal Arts. Karen Roberta Villa, History, Liberal Arts. Fanny Nini Marie Schoenbeck, Athletic Coaching. Federico Trudeau, Political Science. Jesus Ledesma Sanchez, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Shinji Oshita, Professional Accountant, General Accountant. Heidi Robledo, Office Assistant, General Office. Rachel Ann Mahonsky, Liberal Arts. Elsa Grayson, Graphic Design. Adrian Caldera, General Science. Eric Stamps, Graphic Design. Jasmine Maldonado, Business Management, Leadership. Jonathan Apolinar, Liberal Arts. Lucille Gutierrez, Theater Arts. Isabel Lee, Early Childhood Studies, Early Childhood Education. Christian Rafael Robles, Film Studies. Karina Orozco, Early Childhood Studies. Carlos Napoleon Silva, Communication Studies. Denise Gutierrez, Liberal Arts, Early Devon. Childhood Devon. Education. Devon no, Javon Harris. Javon Harris. <laughs> Harris, Business. Javier Rosas, Early Childhood Associate Teacher, Early Childhood Studies. Hannah Snodgrass, Liberal Arts, General Science, Psychology. Sarai Amesquita, Early Childhood Education, Early Childhood Studies. Yair Villanueva, Liberal Arts, Psychology. Abraham Baltasar, Early Childhood Education. Here you go. Eric Taylor Woodby, Graphic Design. Delfino Uriel Martinez, 
Early Childhood Studies, Early Childhood Education. Maria Guadalupe Romero, Liberal Arts. Zoenda McIntosh, Early Childhood Education. Yumi Sato, Liberal Arts. Marta Rosa Fajardo, General Science. Yu Yang Liu, Liberal Arts. Charlie St. Martin Hernandez, Computer Programming. Ryuki Yamazaki, Liberal Arts. Mio Emanuel Cruz Maglaque, Liberal Arts, Early Childhood Education, Public Policy. Tomohiro Shiratori, Liberal Arts. Henry Power, Communication Studies. Jinta Shimizu, Business. Rafaela Sarai Ayala, Liberal Arts, Early Childhood Education. Alexis Junpei Sato, Liberal Arts. Christian Calderon, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Eric Meraz, Liberal Arts. Tony Savala, Liberal Arts. Megan McNaughton, Journalism. Joanna Maria Fermin, Sales and Promotion. Haley Rocknipur, Liberal Arts. Cassandra Eva Victoria Martedal, Sales and Promotion Marketing. Christine Hakazimana, Liberal Arts. Honami Yasaua, Cosmetology. Sebastian Nunez del Prado, Political Science, Liberal Arts. Naoka Nakata, Business. Lawrence Gaguzi, Liberal Arts. Akari Fotet, Liberal Arts. Joanna Alejandra Aguilar, General Science. Gabriel Angel Soria, Liberal Arts. Shuai Du, Film Studies. Estrella Sanchez, so so Social and Behavioral Sciences, Sociology. Sandra Silva Garcia, Liberal Arts, General Science. Thomas Anthony Dalimonte, Theater Arts. Jasmine. Jasmine Teresa Romero, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Yanka Evliyalo, Theater Arts, Technical Theater. Jonathan Ray Cordova, Business Administration, General Science, Economics. Morgan Riso, Theater Arts. Aaron Mikhail Plotz, General Science. Virindu Mojan, Theater Arts. <laughs> Sheila Consuelo Hernandez, <laughs> Linda Munth, Liberal Arts, Psychology. Daria Volnetska, Technical Theater. Jessica Elizabeth Marroquin, Liberal Arts. Sarah Elizabeth Smith, Technical Theater. Nicholas Lewis Pollock, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Christiana Elise Saldivar, Technical Theater, Theater Arts. Roberto Gonzalez, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Kenneth Cordero, Theater Arts. Clara Valadares Pireira, yeah. Business Administration. Nefertura yeah. Brooks, Film Production. Omar Blom, Business Administration. Minami Maramatsu, Fashion Merchandising, Fashion Design. Misaki Tomiya, Interior Architectural Design. Sayaka Abe, Fashion Merchandising. Bianca Lisa Abematsu Saito, Business Administration. Risa Shimimarakura, Liberal Arts, Social Behavioral Science. William Chen, CSUGE Igetsi. Hina Okita, Studio Arts, Art, Liberal Arts. Deja Ortega, History.
Uh, Muharem Vukovic, Liberal Arts, Anthropology. Liliana Garcia, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science, General Science, Arts and Humanities. Luis Antonio Garot, Communication Study. Can I walk up here now? Sparrow Rhiannon Heatley, Business Management Leadership, Business. Luis Antonio Garos Jr., Communication Studies. Laura Fatma Erdogan, Political Science. Caitlin Hanan Aladham, Political Science. Hannah Rashid, Communication Studies. Brittany Sarah Amani, Ebony Jarlene, Liberal Arts, Film Studies. Titima Amawat, Logistics. Bonnie Sherry Garcia Sandoval, Cosmetology. Natnicha Nita Yaprapa, Logistics. Yutaka Ikiyama, Liberal Arts. Kenshiro Nakamura, Liberal Arts. Abdala Arira, Business Administration. For the graduates who are still in the audience, please stand. <laughs> Members of the Santa Monica College graduating class of 2019, upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the California Community Colleges Board of Governors and by the Board of Trustees of Santa Monica College, I hear by confer upon you the bachelor degree, associate degree, or certificate of achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, the Santa Monica College Class of 2019. Thank you, thank you so much for staying to the end. This concludes our commencement, and after the recessional, please join us at the SMC Alumni and Friends Reception for light refreshments in the quad. Good evening. <laughs>